All right, man. So uh, we're gonna do a little feature video on the pre-wing F-18 90 mil setup. Um, just a little backstory with the mods we do. Um, I kind of called it Alpha Tech for a while because ever since I was a little kid, I, something was cool. I'm like, how do we make it better? So I kind of got infatuated with turning things up and maximizing each airframe. So with me and Chris, we've had everything maybe two, three times over. Then, you know, the fun part is dialing each plane in to, to optimize performance. So some planes, you gotta look at the wing loading, how much weight can it take, if you want it on six cell, eight cell, 12 cell, whatever. But due to the size, when I first got this plane, the pre-order one, I kept it on six and I upgraded it six cell. But I just, it wasn't doing much and I had an elevator failure, which everybody knows about. So I went ahead and revisited the project, got another one, and I just wanna say thanks to Motion because they did refund me on my first one which was awesome. So I wanted to give another shot. So I upgraded the elevator um, tail, like RC Informer Rich was talking about. That went very well. But you always need more power. Can't have enough power. So if you guys come over here, well, since the wing loading wasn't much different, I actually went 12 cell on this one because with a low, low weight, high C pack, these are graphene ones that I use, the 12 cell setup is actually 280 grams heavier than a six cell setup on 6,000. So granted, I'm able to kind of offset that with more thrust, but less throttle for more efficiency. So I don't need as heavy as a million. So I'm actually running 4,000 12 cell. And I'm actually getting more flight time on 12 than I would on a hot six because it's got more torque under the curve, more power under the curve. So it really transferred well on this one. So to fit it, I kind of, Extended the hatch here because when I first got the first one the stock hatch only comes from here to here So you only have access to about eh, right about there I knew it was gonna be way too nose heavy if I went with 12 cell So when I started looking back I was able to move the blue box under the board and shift the canopy back So I have access almost to here. So when you see under the hood, you'll see how clean and how well this actually fits 12 cell so I have access, when I'm on my first pack, it's actually way back enough to where you can get above the blue box, which is now, I, I actually took the blue box out. Everybody knows what's up with the blue boxes with motion, but uh, so the first pack's actually mounted here and it's actually super far back where on the stock canopy, you wouldn't be able to access that. But with the modified canopy, I'm not able to get the first one here and the second one's gonna be like a Sager step. So the second one fits super clean right next to it. So I got my little CG marks here, label on the black here, label on the black there. So when I do lock it down, it's per, and the CG is perfect. Now, uh, the manual calls for 85 or 88 millimeters back from the leading edge, which is way too nose heavy. Uh, in my experience, f 18s like an FCG, so I kind of knew that going in. But uh, I talked to a couple guys that like, started 100, worked back, and they couldn't be more right. So I'm actually at 105, uh, which is perfect. It's all the way far back, and it's dead on. Now, the neutral elevator also was wrong in the manual, in my opinion, too. I think they were calling for like seven millimeters up trim. I ended up being about four, four and a half, almost five. So it was kind of pitching up to compensate for that nose heavy CG, but there's no way it would fly well like that. I mean, it's gonna be heavy in the turns, just not gonna have the flight character that you're looking for. So by moving to 105, 104, it's so much lighter on its feet. I mean, it was it's a totally different airplane. So the way I approached it, I'm very happy with how it came together, um, especially the power under the curve. I'm actually getting almost four minutes of flight time on this thing, which is very impressive uh, for only 4,000 milliamps. So I've got a little center burner here too. Uh, shout out to John Callen for hooking that up. He's got some tricks up his sleeve, and uh, I'm really happy with it. So as you see under the hood, everything's super clean nothing i mean it's almost like it was made for it yeah everything's under the board it came out awesome so i'm really pumped with that i just did some detail work we painted the gear let's pick it up and uh just to make the blue angels right so i painted the gear white a little chrome work here and there uh, upgrade the lighting a little bit 
uh, we'll go ahead and get a little uh, shake down flight here. So I got about three flights out. So what's, what's, what about that fan? <laughs> oh yeah, a uh, little custom <laughs> setup. It's a little German, German offering. It's actually a Shuby. So, uh, so actually, that's a Shuby. Everybody knows I love Daniel's work. So the Shuby stuff, second to none, man. It's got a nice in runner in it, but it's a really efficient system. It only pulls like 94 amps watt, but I'm only flying 40% throttle a lot of times. So I think at that throttle point, it's like 40 amps. Or it's, it's nothing. So it's very gentle on the pads. But when you kick it, she wakes up, man. She wakes up pretty good. cell setup it just rotates like it should I mean super scale get it with that roll with that front light hell yeah so much lighter in the turns. I mean, it doesn't take any throttle at all to keep moving. Servo resolution is good, and you're not going too heavy with the pack. You really can't do it. Forty percent. Kick it, man. She, she just jumped. She knows what you're doing. Yeah. Hi, bro. I did do like three points of clear on it to get rid of the machine. Half throttle is pretty much faster than any six cell I've seen on that.
But yeah, I'm super happy with it, guys. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, man. That's, and like I said, I'm, I'm more blown away with the, uh, the power under the curb and the flight time. Because, I, I mean, I could get four minutes if I wanted. Maybe even more than that. But uh, still, man, 3.30 is pretty good. Jesus, we are, man. So, um, yeah, highly recommend it. As long as you know going in, you definitely want to keep an eye on the tail section, especially on 12 cell. Uh, all that's got reinforced. Um, and keep an eye on your servo resolution. You know, I'm on the first hole on the elevator servos, and it's, it's keeping up with what I'm doing off a dive. So I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just... Uh, you gotta know that going in. Okay. So, shout out to Big Pat, Big C. Anybody <laughs> got any questions?